Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what I'm going to do is to show you how to remove an APFS partition from macOS Ventura. So here, for example, I have my Macintosh HD on my Finder sidebar, and I also have our partition called Test, which also has a macOS installation on this. And if we go to the spotlight icon here, we can go to Disk Utility, and we can basically see that the solid state drive internally is divided between the Macintosh HD volume and also this test volume as well. And this is basically an APFS volume group and test is merely one of the partitions that are part of this group. So if I click on the root here, or if I click on view and show all devices and then click on this solid state drive, we can see here, if we click on partition, we can see the arrangement of this. So we have Macintosh HD comma test. So the two partitions can potentially occupy all of the space. So what I want to do is to show you how to remove any additional partitions, just in case you want to simplify your setup and how to do this on macOS Ventura. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to disk utility. So I'm going to click on the spotlight icon here. I'm going to type in the word disk utility, and I'm going to select the first item here. And then we have the internal drive here and then the various volumes. So what we're going to do is to remove the test volume and this is pretty straightforward. So we're going to select the test volume here. It's composed of test and then test data. And we're going to select the main volume here. And once that's highlighted, we're going to go over and move our mouse to the volume section here. And then we're going to click on this minus icon, which will delete the selected APFS volume from its container. So now I'm going to press minus. And then this is going to go ahead and delete this volume group test. So just be aware that if we remove this volume group, then this is going to delete all the data contained within this. So make sure you have a backup of any important data. It's not going to be recoverable after we press this red delete button. So now that we're ready and then we've made any kind of backups that we need to, I'm going to press the delete button here. And this is now unmounting the volume and it's going to delete it for us. So my volume doesn't take much space, but it basically takes a bit of time in order to reconfigure the volume group. So the container has the correct number of volumes. We just have a single volume now, which is composed of Macintosh HD and then it's data as well. So now that that's deleted, we don't have this entry up in Finder. If I go to Finder, we no longer have the test location, which is the volume that I created. And anyway, that is how you delete a volume partition on macOS Ventura. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.